Hey guys, the Jace Dog here, and welcome back to another NRL unboxing on the channel. That's right, guys. Today we're going to be unboxing episode number ten of the NRL 2019 Traders. That's right, guys. So this is our tenth episode. We're hitting the double digits. I kind of was hoping we wouldn't this year, but I think you know it's always going to happen. It's unless I'm doing like a, like a booster box or a couple of booster boxes. I don't think it's going to happen. In like below the tens so with that being said make sure if you do enjoy this guys make sure you hit that like button hard but not too hard guys because you break your computers make sure you also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to join the dog squad and don't forget to check out all my social medias they're all linked in the description and down below we also have a playlist of all of the 2019 NRL traders on the channel guys so go and check that out if you haven't seen any of those episodes and we also have the previous years traders as well so you've got plenty of NRL trader products to see and other NRL stuff to come in the future guys whether it's vintage packs or some of the you know juicy stuff that I got my hands on as well as other stuff so like I said episode number 10 we're gonna be doing eight booster packs in this one why not we'll do eight booster packs um, this was from a new box at a news agency that I went to so eight packs I'm hoping for some good stuff in this one because like I said episode number 10 we can only hope guys but like I said, we only need 11 people left. 11 more cards to complete the base set. Will I finish it? I have no idea, because at this point, I have maybe this video and another free video's worth of NRL traders um, in my, I guess you could say, in my collection of stuff to unbox still. And if I go through all of those and still haven't gotten the cards I need, you may as well say we're gonna be ordering some online. So, with that being said guys, it's time to dive right into episode number 10. If you do enjoy it hit that like button if you haven't already hit that subscribe button because you definitely want to be a part of this awesome journey we are very close at the time of recording this to hitting 2,000 dog squad members that is awesome guys I can't believe that hopefully by the time this video goes live we've already hit it if we have let's say congrats 2k in the comment section down below but with that being said guys it is time to dive right into episode number 10 let's do this guys so Let's get into it. It's been a while since I have unboxed any traders or actually anything. Um, like, you know, you've probably seen a lot of unboxing stuff hitting the channel, but most of those were pre-recorded stuff that I did before I got burnt out on YouTube. Uh, but I'm feeling very rejuvenated and ready pumped, ready to go. So we're gonna get right back into it where we left off. So of course, we have all these. Um, I'm just gonna go through and say, like I like always do at the start of every episode, which ones we've pulled and which ones we haven't. So Platinum Parallels, yes. Face of the Games, yes. Season to Remember, yes. Club Heroes, yes. Star Tunes, yes. State of Origin Stars, yes. Last Line of Defense, yes. We have pulled a... Uh, we got the Ruby from the book, but we never ended up getting Emerald or Signature, I don't think, like the normal one. Retirements, I think we got one. I can't remember, it's been a while. And then 4 and 2, no. Premiership Predictor, yes. In the first episode, guys, go and check it out if you haven't seen it. And a Legend Signatures, no. I'm pretty sure I pulled Retirements in this one. I'm pretty sure it's been a while like I said and like it has been a decent while since I've done any NRL stuff on the channel so we just have to hope that we get some good cards in this one guys so let's hope eight packs episode number 10 let's jump right into it so I do have my list of um, people I have to you know check every now and then as well just to make sure that um, if they do pop up I know so no, we don't need you. We um, don't need him. No, because we did need him in the last one, but I think we got him. Luke Brooks, no. Uh, DeBellin, yes. Okay, so I needed DeBellin and Graham from the Dragons, so that is a plus. We got one, so now we're only 10 cards away. And we got a Star Tune one, which we haven't had in a while, so I'm going to put the cards that we get. Uh, so that's going to go in the rare pile just because I needed it. And of course, we got our uh, parallels that go there. So, it's just easier if I do it like that. So, we got Clinton and Guntherson as a, uh, I guess you could say, Star Tune card. I haven't gotten a Star Tune card in a good while. So, that is actually pretty cool. Number 11 out of 18 on the Star Tune list. This is just a basic Star Tune card, which is cool. Um, let me know in the comments down below, guys, how many Star Tune cards you got. Uh, we also have Murata for the Eels. i put him up here. Um, I think I've finished the Titans. Like I said, it's been a while, so I'm trying to remember some of the ones I have done and some of the ones I haven't. I've got Kafusi, Knights, we only need Watson, and we don't need this dude. So we got one already. 
plus side, guys. That's the plus. So one card already. I might actually just go like that so I remember. Um, just in case he pops up again so I don't put him out there twice. But not too bad. Not too bad to start it. Eight packs. Uh, we only need, like I said, it was like 11 cards. Yeah, it was like 11 cards that we needed. And um, so far right now, I'm literally down to 10 cards left. So that's actually pretty cool. So we have Penny from the Eels, which I don't need. We also have a Dragon's Checklist, which I said I didn't need because I needed Graham. That's right. Lawrence, we don't need any Tigers. Cody Walker from the Rabbitohs. Um, also, guys, like I said, if I do miss one, I will see it in... I guess you could say after the video when I'm going through the cards, just to double check. But if I do miss that, I want you to let me know in the comment section down below if I missed one. Uh, you should know from previous episodes, because uh, I read the list. I'm not going to read the list this time, just because it's... Maybe when we get down to like the last like five, I might, but yeah. So we have this dude right here, Inari, is it? Yeah, Inari from the Cowboys. Very nice. If you want to read the back, I don't think I've gotten this dude yet. So that's pretty cool. So face of the game. We always seem to get a lot of face of the games. We've got Beal from the Warriors. Uh, then we also go to Adokar from the Storm. Jai Arrow. Uh, which we did need at one point, but we got now. We've gotten all of the Seagulls as well. And then Luke Bateman. We don't need you either. So none from that one, just the face of the game. You know, this is from a new booster box at a news agency. So I, I kind of have my hopes up, but I kind of don't have my hopes up. Like, if we can get a signed card, I'd be happy. If I could get another Premiership Dicta, I'd be very happy. Uh, even a Legend signed one would be cool. Okay, so Sean Johnson. Do I need you? No, I only said I needed Bill. Okay, so Tim Manor, Matt Dufty, Cooper Cronk, and we also got a, I think I have this one, this 2018 season to remember Lachlan Lewis. Late Lewis field goal sees Bulldogs win. Num uh, round number 23, it's a starting one. I'm pretty sure I have that one. I'm not 100% sure. Nathan Brown as our parallel. Then we have Jared Wallace, uh, Vrini Valu, and... Jake Travojevic and Michael Leica, uh, which I don't need. Like I said, if I do miss any, I will have a look after this episode is done, um, just so I can double check, I guess, to make sure that you know we don't go into the next episode if we have to, if we don't get all the ones that we need in this one, and say we go to the next episode, it saves me having to, um, I guess, try and pull a card that I already pulled, you know? So, we have a Fua. Luke Brooks again, Jack DeBellin again, glad I pulled him over there so I don't uh, don't forget about it, Cordner, and we got SASA as our, um, yeah, I did need him at one point but I already have him now, so as our face of the game, which I think I might have SASA, I'm pretty sure I do, so that's not too bad, nothing too big, season to remember, star turn, uh, we've done four packs out of the eight, Marie Martin, uh, we have this dude again which we don't need, don't need seagulls, uh, we don't need you, and we don't need you. Okay, so four packs down, not too bad so far. And like I said, we got one out of the 11 that I need. So I'm hoping to at least pull three in this episode. Uh, like I said, I have another three episodes worth of cards to do uh, for the traders if I need to. So I would ideally like to at least get another two so that I don't have like a huge amount to do. So. Trail Mitchell and Blair, of course. Uh, we finished the Roosters, I believe, did we? Yes, we did. We finished the Roosters. Uh, we have Penny. We have Dragon's Checklist, which I do need a checklist, but what is it for? I need the checklist for the Storm, is what I need. So I need to remember the Storm checklist. And then we got Valentine Holmes, 2018 season to remember. Round 24, Holmes stars against the Knights again. So not too bad, I'm pretty sure I might have this one as well. I'm not 100% sure. And then we have Ben Hunt as our parallel card. And then moving on, we have Elliot, we have Broncos, Checklist, we have Adokar again, and Jai Arrow. So still nothing stand out in my opinion um, of the rares, besides maybe this, the Star Tomb was pretty cool, let's be honest. We're down to our last three. Uh, Star Tomb was pretty cool, but we did get Debellin, which we did need. So that was a plus side for us. Will we get it? Like I said also, um, I will have to order more if I don't get all the cards that I need because 
it's just how I roll. If I don't get all the base cards, then I'm, I'm gonna have to keep buying them. And I'm pretty sure at this point in time, they don't sell anymore at the news entities. I have to double check on payday, so I'll have a look. We have Bevan French from the Eels, which I don't need any Eels, I'm pretty sure. I'll just double check that to make sure. Uh, yep, I don't need any. We have Josh Reynolds. We have Isaiah Papali, James Tedesco, and nothing. Okay, so this one's just one of those dub packs. Uh, we got Josh Tafua as our parallel. Uh, we got Josh Jackson. We got another Seagull card. Did I get two? No, I didn't. I thought I had a second in that one, which was Tom Travojevic. We have, hey, we need this guy. Jermaine Aseko, we need you. Get up here. That's the second one. Uh, I don't need Kenneth Bromwich. I don't need Croker. So what do you know? Two down, guys. Two out of the 11. That means we're now at nine cards left in the hunt. Nine cards, guys. Like I said, once I get down to maybe like five or six cards, I will let you know the ones that I need so that we can take, I guess, you know, guesses on who's going to be the looting last card. Lawrence, Cody Walker, James Maloney, Will Smith, and then we have a Murata face of the game, which I'm pretty sure I have this one. If I do, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we have Jesse Bromwich, which we'll put up here. We have Daily Cherry Evans, Luke Bateman, which I don't need, Sharks Checklist, and Andrew McCulloch. So, none in that one, but I'm pretty happy. We got two of the cards we needed. We haven't, I think the last couple episodes we didn't even get any. So, last pack, can we get some last pack magic? So guys, I want you to all cross your fingers, cross your toes, and don't forget to cross your nose, because we want a good pull in this last pack. Let's do it. Last pack magic. Will we get something good? At least, either give me a good rare, or give me um, a couple of the cards I need off my checklist, at least. So we have the Roosters checklist, which I said I am done with the Roosters, so I don't need that. Cohen Hess. I'll take my time on this last pack, just in case the rare is a good one. Uh, Cowboys are done. Alex Thor, Reagan, Campbell Gillard. Uh, okay, so it's, it's a good one though. It's a West Tigers, so we've got Luke Gardner. Uh, well, Gardner. He is from the Tigers, so that is cool. As a face of the game, and I just dropped him on his head. There we go. So not too bad. I don't have this one, I'm pretty sure. So Luke Gardner, face of the game. And we got Kalen Ponga as our um, parallel card. We also got Anthony Don. We have Guerrero, uh, Aiden Guerra. I don't need him though. I was just checking for a second. Uh, we have a Parsi and the Raiders checklist. So none in that pack, unfortunately. We only got two that we needed, but to be honest, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Uh, episode 10, we just smashed out two that we needed from the 11, so not too bad. So let's go through our parallels. Then we'll go through our, um, I guess you could say, our two new pools for the common set and then our rares. So we got Kalen Ponga, Jesse Bromwich, we got George Tafua, Ben Hunt, T. Marie Martin, Nathan Brown, Jared Beal, and Murata. Not too bad as a bunch of parallels. The two new cards that we got, we got Jermaine Aseko, and we also got Jack DeBellin. Needed those two in my common collection. I always collect the commons, guys, if you didn't know. Any rares that I get, along the way is a plus. So we have the face of the game, Luke Gardner. We have Murata for face of the game. We always get a lot, like I said, for face of the games. Uh, we have Valentine Holmes, 2018 season to remember. SASC face of the game, Luke Lewis, uh, no, not Luke Lewis, Lachlan Lewis, season to remember. We have Inari and we have a Star Tunes, Clinton Gutherson card as well. So that was a pretty good pull. Uh, nothing really too rare in this one, but the highlights for me is of course a Seiko and a DeBellin. So guys, if you did enjoy episode number 10, it was only eight packs, but we're getting to the nitty gritty of finding the last handful of cards that we need. Like I said, we had 11, now we are literally sitting at nine more cards. So guys, if you did enjoy this one, hit that like button hard, but not too hard because you break your computers. Don't forget to also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to join the dog squad. If you haven't already, guys, go and follow me on all my social medias. They're all linked in the description down below. And stay tuned because episode number 11 will be coming very soon as we hunt for the final nine. Guys, like I said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, stay awesome. The Jace Dog is out of here. See you.